All right, all right. Welcome back to Currency 365 and also Ice Open Media. And I haven't done a video dump on Ice Open Media in a minute, so I need to do that. Hopefully, I can remember to do that tonight. If not, I'll do it hopefully sometime this week. All right, so um, hopefully you guys on Ice Open Media will be seeing all the videos that we have done. All right, so um, this is uh, part four of the um, deliverance about evil dreams and covenants and contracts. Now, this one is more of, of, of uh, 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 Bible verses, so it won't be any PowerPoint. We're just going to be reading Bible verses that deal with, um, you know, deliverance of, of these, um, you know, evil, evil dreams and covenants and contracts and things like that. And um, so let's just get into prayer and then we're going to uh, thank God for delivering us from these things and keeping us delivered, um, repenting from sins, um, you know, rebuking and canceling everything that's demonic and, and uh, giving us, you know, goodness and righteousness and peace and happiness in our lives, bringing that positive energy into our lives as well. So let's get into prayer and then we'll read the Bible verses that deal with these, um, with the evil dreams and covenants and contracts heavenly father we thank you um we thank you for allowing us to come together and uh this is part four and we went through the prayer points in part one two and three and uh, we just thank you father for keeping us alive keep it protecting us and washing us clean continue to make us holy continue to make us holy you know no we're not perfect people we make mistakes we're going to make mistakes we're going to sin we're going to do things that are wrong and we're going to and but we're going to come back to you our heart is with you and always with you we're going to repent quickly and we're going to get back on track. And we just thank you, Father, that that's who we are now. We no, we're no longer people who sin and then stay in sin and stay in sin and stay in sin and not and we don't care. We're people who, if we make mistakes or if we sin, we re quickly, 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 we repent our sins and we come right back to righteousness. And that's the only, that's the difference. That's the difference between sinners and believers is that we, we believe in Yeshua and we repent quickly, you know, and uh, for our sins. We all, we both sin. We just, we repent quickly for our sins and we, and we try our best to stay in holiness, but we know nobody's perfect but we try our best to stay in holiness in yeshua's mighty name so that every time father when you look down at, uh, on on the earth and look down at us and you look down your people you don't see any stains on us because we are constantly repenting for our sins in yeshua's mighty name we just thank you father we thank you for allowing us to do that and giving us the opportunity we thank you for sending your son yeshua to, to our savior to 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 set for the sacrifice we thank the holy spirit in the baptism of the holy spirit and we thank the Holy Spirit for guiding us. We thank our guardian angels from, for guiding us. We thank you for the military angels and all these angels that are assigned to us in Yeshua's mighty name for protecting us and leading us, clearing the path away uh, for us so that we can have righteousness, we can have favor, we can have blessings, we can have peace and joy, we can have, we can fulfill our destinies. We're gonna we need the whole village. We need the whole all of heaven. It's so demonic down here you know, on earth that we literally need all of heaven to be on our side to be able to fulfill our destinies and get back to the kingdom of God like we really do like it's just so dark and demonic down in on this earth that we literally need the entire heaven warring on our behalf to so that we can get back into the kingdom of God because it's so easy to slip up and fall and, and, and be and, and we've seen so many people slip up and fall and get taken out like that and uh, during the acts of sin and during the acts of stuff that they're not supposed they shouldn't be doing so we we need father we need the whole entire heaven warring on our behalf to keep us on the right path to keep us in righteousness to keep us away from sin to keep us on, on you know to keep our hearts holy in yeshua's mighty name so father right now we repent for every sin that we have committed and done every sin that's in our hearts every sin that's deep in our hearts every secret sin hidden sin unknown sin known sin every sin that's in our hearts father we repent for it right now wash us clean ask the holy spirit to wash us clean right now and make our hearts new again Again, in Yeshua's name, we, we forgive every single person, including ourselves, in Yeshua's mighty name, and we change our lives forever. We come out of dark, we, we come out the dark sins, we come off the dark 
the darkness. We come off of the hidden uh, hurt and anger. We come off of all of that, Father, and we repent for our sins right now, and we say that we are free from sin. We are free from sin. With anything that has kept us in cages, we repent for those things now that have put us in cages, and we ask you to break us from the chains and the cages, unlock the keys, Father, and open the doors to our new lives. In Yeshua's mighty name, we thank you, Father. We thank you. We cancel renounce and rebuke all demonic dreams, visions, entities, witches, warlocks, sorcerers, action, projection, land, 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 course, and demons. We, we cancel all dreams that the enemy has uh, has put in us or planned in us or planning for us. We cancel all demonic plans of the enemies. We wipe their memories clean in Yeshua's mighty name. Anything that the enemy is trying to do to us in the spiritual realm, we, 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 we ask you, Father, to backfire it back to them in Yeshua's mighty name, and we send it to the feet of Yeshua for judgment and destruction as well. In Yeshua's mighty, mighty name, we thank you for covering us in the spiritual realm, covering us in the digital realm, covering us in the physical realm. We are covered by the blood of Yeshua and the power of Ruach and Holy Spirit. Anybody else that had negative dreams about us or negative thoughts about us, Father, we rebuke you now and cancel it down and it shall never come to pass as well. We send it to the feet of Yeshua for judgment and destruction. We also, everything that we've thought about, Father, that is negative, evil, perverted, we rebuke it now, we cancel it down, we repent for it now, and we send it to the feet of Yeshua for judgment and destruction. In Yeshua's mighty name. We thank you for clearing our minds, clearing our hearts, clearing our eyes. Anything that we've seen that is perverted, anything that we've seen that is evil, anything that we've seen that is not of you, Father, any type of murder, any, anything that we've seen that is demonic, we rebuke it now, we cancel it now, we repent for it now, and we send it to the feet of Yeshua for judgment and destruction. Anything that we heard with our ears, we cover our ears with the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Ruach Kedish Holy Spirit. Anything that we hear with our ears, any, any negative music, demonic music, or whatever, the, any, anything that we've heard that is evil, perverted whatever the case may be we rebuke it now and we cancel it now and we clean our we cleanse our ears with the bloody shoe and the power of the ruha kadesh holy spirit everything that we've done with our bodies with our body parts everything that we have done with our with ourselves in yeshua's mighty name and we rebuke it everything that we said out of our mouth that is evil we rebuke it we cancel it we repent for it now in yeshua's mighty name we repent for every action that we have done in yeshua's mighty name we pray shalom 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 Prayer is the key that unlocks all doors. And we thank you, Father, for the prayer. We thank you for for our finances. We thank you for wisdom. We thank you for healing. We thank you for protection. We thank you for grace and mercy and joy. We thank you for godly friends and godly family members. We thank you for just loving on us in Yeshua's mighty name. We pray. Shalom, shalom, shalom. All right, let's get into the, the part four here. Uh, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. All right. Proverbs 18.10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Psalms 91.9.10, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place, no evil shall be you, befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Matthew 43, 1 and 2, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. Ezekiel 34, 28. And they shall no longer be a prey for the nations, nor shall beasts on the land devour them, but they shall dwell safely, and no one shall make them afraid. Okay. Proverbs 1, But whoever listens to me, will dwell safely and will be secure. 
without fear of evil. Psalms 121 verses 7 and 8, the Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Psalms 4 verse 8, this is the last one. I will both lie down in peace and sleep for you alone, O Lord, are my protector. Deliverance shall visit your house today in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Shalom. All right, so there you guys go. Um, that was the uh, part four, and we're gonna we're, we're gonna close it up here with the um, you know the dream, the deliverance on the evil dreams and uh, and covenants and contracts, and we're gonna go to something else tomorrow, um, or maybe I'll I probably might do a throwback Lana video tomorrow. You guys are loving the Lana videos here, uh, and for you guys that are kind of confused with the Lana videos, uh, they, they're on my Eyes of a Media channel. I'm just bringing them from Eyes of Media to to Patreon. I mean to uh, not Patreon, but to Currency 365. So you guys here that have never seen those videos you can see them but they're they're on the they're on the eyes of media channel okay um so i'm um, just bringing them here to share um you know so maybe i'll do a throwback lana video i'm trying to do one a week um because a lot of you guys love lana and um you guys haven't seen maybe you haven't even kept up with her and i'm um, so i just bringing her back a little bit there but um yeah anyways peace out god bless and uh let's just close it up heavenly father we thank you for um part four part one two three and four of the um, deliverance on the uh, dreams, evil dreams, and covenants and contracts in Yeshua's money name. Thank you for setting people free. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for washing us clean from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. We are healed. We are holy. We are well. We are in peace. Let's take it day by day, day by day. You know, people are thinking, you know, man, how, how can I stay holy uh, for an, another 30 years? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just take it day by day. You know, being holy is not... It's not hard, I mean, you know, and being being evil is hard because you have to actually take actions to be evil. You have to actually plan stuff to be evil, right? When you just live in your normal day, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not going to be evil. You're not going to be, you know, you're not going to, you're going to be righteous, right? It, it's when you have to, when you plan your sins, you know, when you, when you, plan, you know, to be evil, you have to plan those things out. You have to plan, okay, I'm going to club here. I'm going to go this. I'm going to go to the strip club. I'm going to do, you have to actually plan to be evil. In and sin you know to be righteous and holy you just have to live your life and people don't realize that it's easy to be holy if you just live your life right live your life stay away from things that are sinful stay away from people that that, that bring sin to your life stay away from people that are evil and just live your life and you're gonna live a holy life <laughs> you know what i mean is when you're is when you're indulging in people that are sinful indulge in things that are sinful you know you're gonna then slip up and be in sin i mean it is what it is all right so just, you know, stay, stay, you know, continue to live your life and, um, you know, you have free will, I mean, you know, you continue to live your life and just relax, relax, you know, take a day at a time. God, doesn't God take it one day at a time? You know, he, well, he doesn't even have days. There's no days in heaven. I mean, it's just, it's just uh, you know, there's no times. Either. There's no time in heaven. So there's everything, everything is just there, you know what I mean? Just, so they don't even know what that day it is. I mean, it, they, they could literally look at each other and then it'd be like three years when by you know what i mean <laughs> who, who knows you know you could say hi to somebody in heaven and you're, you be you're in heaven and you're saying hi to your to a friend that you know you know that's there and you're like, hey mark and you're like, hey hey and it's, and it's seven years that went by you who knows <laughs> you know what i mean like you know so it's just they don't they don't have any there's no time up there so you know, so when you say when, when we when we think of forever and eternity, we, it really it really scares me. It really scares us. You know, I remember being a, I remember being a teenager and saying, wait a minute, I, wait wait a minute. When I when I leave here, and let's say, and I go to, if I make it into heaven, I'm there for eternity. <laughs> it's like like there's nothing after eternity like eternity like i'm gonna be there for eternity like it never ends like so what happens like you know what i mean and i used to freak i used to freak myself out because i couldn't comprehend living you know in heaven for eternity like that never ends 
Like, you're telling me, like, a hundred billion years from now, I'm still going to be living in heaven? Like, what, like, when does it ever end, right? And so I used to freak myself out because I couldn't comprehend eternity. But then you got to realize that we're, we're basing it off of time. We're basing it off of days, months, time, and, and, and you know what I mean? And, and in heaven, there is no time. You know what I mean? Like, so you don't real, you don't even know. You just live. You just live. You know. So we, you don't. So you're not gonna be. Oh my God, I'm here for eternity. What do I do? You're just gonna live. That's what you're gonna do. You're just going to live. There is no time. There is no months. There's not. You you just are going to live. Okay. And so, and so there won't be, you won't have any anxiety. There is no anxiety in heaven. There is no diseases in heaven. You know what I mean? Like none of that stuff when you're with the, with, with the father, maybe in the second heaven, you know, where, where all the, you know, the demons and stuff are, but in the, in the abyss, but not in the, where God's at, there is no, there is no um, anxiety and panic attack. You're just going to live and you're going to be living among people that are holy and not just people. There's other things in heaven. God created a lot of things, right? And it's going to, you know, and so God created a lot of things because he knew that he was forever. So he in there, he was in there creating stuff, the Holy Spirit's creating things. Yeshua probably created some things, you know what I mean? And so they've created a whole bunch of stuff, man, right? And so people in heaven, they're never bored because there's always something to do. And then they can just create things as well if they want to do, right? And um, so, anyways, uh, it, it it's uh, you know it, it it's um it's something that to think about. But um, you know, every time I try to, every time I think about, man, eternity is a long time. But we already been living for eternity, <laughs> right? Because you think about it, you're a spirit. You're not really what your body is. You're actually your spirit. This body is only temporary. We're actually spirits that have been living for billions of years already. So we've already lived for, we've literally been living for billions of years as spirits. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, you know, yeah. So let's, let's just think about it that way, right? So um, they want to say the earth is 6,000 years old. We know that that's a lie. You know, they're using 6,000 because it's a satanic number, right? Um, but uh, earth been here for billions of years, you know? Um, and so has our spirits. We've all been here billions of years. So you know, as spirits. So we, 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 I bet, I bet you, I bet you if God, if you ask God to show you like what, what you used to do a long time ago, you know, you'll probably show you all the things like you probably used to fly to, to different planets and <laughs> as spirits, you know, and you probably was flying to different planets and things. You would come and you would go out of heaven and come back into heaven and into the heavenly, heavenly realms and, and just have fun. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't know. We don't, I don't know what we were doing before then, you know what I mean? But uh, it's something to think about. Peace out, God bless, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day, folks, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Actually, I'm not going to see you tomorrow because La we're probably going to put up a Lana throwback flashback video tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow's, what, Wednesday? So I'll probably see you Thursday or Friday. Peace out, God bless. Bye. I'm out.